So the holidays are upon us. And I don't know, as soon as we pass October, I start getting so excited because I basically know that from here through Easter, it's gonna be nothing but family, food, and fun. Lots of excuses to get dressed up and have fun and eat. Did I mention eating? Yeah, so <laughs> I wanted to come up with a sort of smoky party eye for this holiday season that was a little bit different from the sort of black or gray smoky eye that um, we sort of see all the time. Hope that you'll find this look easy. Let's get started. My foundation is already done. I used Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is in the shade 117, which is pale. I always start off by priming my eyelids with Urban Decay's primer potion. I love this eyeshadow primer to keep creasing at bay, makes the shadows brighter and helps them last. Please ignore my hair today. It's like completely rebellious. To start off, we're going to use Groundwork by MAC. Just dipping right in this paint pot here, and I'm going to start working this towards the lash line and then moving up. So when you do a smoky eye, you always want to focus towards the lash line and then kind of fade it up and out as you go. So I put it down at the lash line, and now I'm just fading it up and out and just using what's left on my brush to sort of blend out the edges up here. And then on the other eye, I'm gonna do the same thing. Focusing the color at the lash line and then working it slowly up and out. What's great about a brown smoky eye is that it's not as in your face as a black smoky eye is. It's kind of mysterious without I don't know, I just love the look of a brown smoky eye. I found this unbelievable eyeshadow by NARS called Mekong. Getting this little plastic thing out of there was a pain. It's this deep chocolate brown with this shot of goldy, bronzy sparkle through it. It's like finely milled and amazing and oh, I just love it. So I'm just gonna go right into this with a standard flat brush and start working this color right along the lash line. So just push this right along your lash line and then just gently start to blend it up. These colors are working really, really well together and I think this is just kind of an unexpected eye for the holidays. And there's really no need to be super neat with this. I'm just trying to keep the color right at the base of my lashes and then just start to work it up and out a little bit. Going in with a second layer of this color right at the base and I'm sort of using a pushing and patting motion. Anytime you have a shadow that has some glitter in it it's best not to really rub it around if you can help it because it keeps that glitter on your eye and off of your face more or less. Grab this same brush using windshield wiper motions or circular motions. Just blend out the edges on both sides. In this crease area, use Soft Brown by MAC, picking this up on the same brush and just working this sort of in the upper part of the crease. I love the edges of a smoky eye to be very, very warm because then it sort of really says clearly that this is meant to be a smoky eye and not a black eye. <laughs> this is Bamboo by MAC, which is just slightly lighter than the last one we used. And I'm just gonna use this one to just do the very, very edges. The trick to a smoky eye is just lots of blending, making sure there's a gradient. And you can always go back in and fix things. Now I'm going to take this little NARS palette and God created the woman. I love these colors because they remind me of that time of the 60s, you know, sultry, smoky, bombshell looks. I'm going to go into this brown color here, take this and add this on the inner portion. And this is just going to bring a little bit of a lighter color 
towards the inner portion. Even though it's dark, it's still lighter than what we've got going on here, and this will help to open up the inside. I'm having a really hard time finding clean brushes, which means it's time for me to do my most hated activity. So taking a clean brush, and this is definitely bigger than what I would choose, this is called Shroom. This is probably my most used eyeshadow. It's just a great neutral light color. And I'm gonna put this right on the inside of my eye, which is going to act to just bring some light and open things up on this side as well. And to highlight the top of the brow bone, take a light color. This is Mylar by MAC. Run this right underneath your eyebrows. And try to keep this up high. If you make this area light, you're just really gonna make this hooded section of your eye come forward and look hooded and droopy. So by adding this up here, lifting this area. This side too. Tilt your head back and forth in the mirror and make sure that things look even. And then just go back in with your brushes and touch things up. For having trouble blending, adding a little bit more powder to your brush, switch from circular motions to back and forth windshield wiper technique. Just keep going. They'll move for you eventually. I grabbed Rule by MAC and with just a tiny bit on the tip of my brush, went right through the top of the crease, kind of getting into the brow bone here, just to give it a little bit more warmth. The reason I wait to do concealer last is because there's often a lot of fallout when you use darker shadows. Putting concealer on before your foundation means that you're just going to push it around and rub it away from wherever you had wanted it to be. So waiting until the very end and then just touching up any spots where you see that you really need it also makes sense. Take a clean hand and just gently brush your face. This is MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I absolutely love this concealer. I think it is a fantastic under eye concealer because it stays where you put it and it doesn't crease. I've stuck with it for a while now. This is a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I am using this to put the concealer underneath my eyes. Redness around the nose. The areas where you're prone to redness or breakouts on the mouth. Now that our concealer is done, we can get ready to start on the underneath the eye makeup. Go into the paint pot here with just a tiny, tiny bit on the tip of this brush and just run it right into the lashes, basically as close as I can possibly get it. Now going in with our NARS eyeshadow in Mekong and picking up just a tiny bit. This stuff is so pigmented and then starting on the outside corner of the eye, drawing in. So the idea is to keep the darkest part of the shadow out here and then blend in towards the center. Taking a smaller brush, pick up this beautiful brown with gold and I'm gonna put this towards the inside of my eye. Time to put on a little bit of eyeliner. This eyeliner is Orpheus by MAC. And it's sort of a brown black color that also has some glitter. Add this right along the top, very close to the lashes. Take your favorite black eyeliner and line the waterline and tight line your upper lashes. If you don't know what tight lining is, it's basically just trying to scrub the liner in between your lashes. Point the liner straight up like this and with little short back and forth motions with my eyes sort of half closed, I go along and try to wiggle it right in between my upper lashes. It makes your lashes look much thicker and definitely gives you a little bit more definition. And then line your bottom waterline and you can do this with black or brown this just happened to be sitting in front of me, so I grabbed it. You could wear this just as it is. I happen to think that this is screaming for a little bit of glitter, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. The Gold Glitter by MAC, it's just simply called gold, and this is actually a pigment. This is called co Copper Sparkle. I think you could really get away with, with one or, or both of those. Ben Nye's Glitter Glue. Take a little bit of the glitter glue, gently tap this around my eyelid, on top of the eyeshadow, 
and then just very gently start adding the glitter on top of the eyeshadow. And I'm sort of focusing the glitter towards the inside and then working out. Just tapping. You don't want to wipe because then you'll be just wiping away all that work you did. I'm trying to keep most of the glitter towards the inside of my eye if I can and then fading it towards the outside. This stuff is fantastic. It holds the glitter and I'm not gonna worry about it falling into my eyes. Back in with the glitter glue towards the outside of my eye and add some of the copper sparkle. Take a little bit of this copper sparkle. Focus the copper color towards the outside of the eye. Whoa, that was too much. We'll just fix that by going back over with some of the darker eyeshadow. That's a lot of copper. So I've put a little bit too much of the copper. So what all we're gonna do is just wait for the glue to dry and then I'm gonna go back in and press some more eyeshadow over the top. Now that the glitter glue has had a chance to dry and I have completely overwhelmed myself with this copper, I'm gonna go back in with our Mekong eyeshadow by NARS and I'm just gonna pat it over the top. So just pressing this over the top and then I'm just gonna go back in with a brush and blend out the edges. This just goes to show you, I try to let you guys see my failures and, and see kind of me learning right along with you because that's just how it is. And don't ever let a mistake freak you out. Just, just try to um, learn from it. Layering that pigment gave a really, really cool sort of three-dimensional effect and I actually really like it. So that was kind of a cool mistake, I think. Now when you have extra glitter that's landed on your face, such as I have here, just roll up a little scotch tape and then just sort of bounce it on any areas where you had glitter fall out. Take this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in medium and I'm gonna use this to powder my face. When you do a smoky eye, contouring your face is important. And don't let contour freak you out. It's really very easy. You can take a bronzer or a deep brownie blush. This is called Sculpt by MAC. I'm gonna take this little angled brush, which I have no idea where I got this from. Draw a three on your face, just like that. And that's where you want your sculpt to go. I'm gonna go right along the edges of my hairline. I am gonna put a little bit on my temple and I'm gonna go if you try to find out where your cheekbone is, you can feel it right through there. And that is where I'm going to draw right down towards the corner of my mouth. And that will thin my face, even though it's the holidays when I am sure to be into the pastries and anything else anyone will put in front of me. <laughs> Sculpting will definitely be my friend in December and January and right along the edge of your jawline, which will give you that nice sharp edge. And then on this side, and go right into the hairline again. A little on my temple. And then once again, right along my cheekbone, pointing towards my mouth. Now with a look like this, you definitely don't need much blush, but I do think that it is a good idea to give yourself some blush so you don't look completely washed out and sick. Out of my MAC blush palette here, I'm gonna use this color called Peachy Keen. Now that there's a little bit of color on our cheeks, I'm going to use a highlighter. This is by Tarte and it's called Champagne. Put this right along the tops of the cheekbone and also kind of right along the top of my brow bone and this side too. And then take your finger, go right in here like this and put this right along the tops of your cupid bow like this. And suddenly your lips look so much more full. <laughs> so now we need lashes. So first grab your eyelash curler, throw on a coat of mascara this is by Corez. 
and it is their obsidian blue, volcanic ash something rather mascara. I love this stuff. Since I have oily skin, I'm always getting those blinky marks from my lashes. This keeps that from happening. It's all natural, cruelty free, and, and it's super, super black. Since this is a holiday look, it calls for some false lashes. These are Demi Wispies by Ardell, which you can get in the drugstore. And this is Duo Lash Adhesive. It comes out white, but it will dry clear. Just put a little blob of glue on the back of your hand. Grab a pair of lashes. Oops, rip them in the process. Take the back of an eyeshadow brush, or you can use the back of your tweezers, and I dip it in the glue. Then just dab it along, hold them right in the middle, and then place the lashes as close to the base of your own lashes as you possibly can. Take your fingers and or tweezers and try and tuck them in as close as you can. And any mess ups that you have with these are fine because the lash glue is going to dry clear. So you're not going to see that you stuck them halfway up your eye and then rip them back off again and stuck them somewhere else. Your secret is safe with a clear lash glue. <laughs> Putting on lashes is probably my least favorite point of doing my makeup. And I'm too impatient and I don't want to wait until this is a little bit tacky and I end up gluing them all over the place and making a big mess because I have the patience of a gnat. Hold them in the middle and let them dry until this gets nice and sticky and then stick them down. And try and get these right in the middle. And who didn't wait until the glue got sticky? Oh, that would be me. See what happens? I never learn. If you feel like some part of the lash isn't sticking down well, you can just grab a little bit of extra glue with your tweezer and then just poke it right on the lash like that. Although it seems like a small thing to do is actually huge. Your brows are a huge part and frame of your face. Grab an eyelash brush, anything that's got a nice stiff thing that you can use to comb them, brush them up. Got this great little eyebrow pencil from Illamasqua. Take my pencil, draw through the bottom of the brow, draw up to fill in any little hairs that might be missing. And then I go up to the top and down the outside. I heard somebody say once that eyebrows are best as sisters and not as twins. Completely perfect eyebrows. They end up looking like two stamps that go on your head. <laughs> they should look similar, but they don't have to be perfect. I'm then going to take some brow set gel and run this through my brows. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this brow gel. Grab a lipstick. This is Dolce Caramello number 27 by Milani, which is in the drugstore. A frosty gold pink nude color. It gives you just enough color to look like things are finished. So there's the makeup done. It goes even with this pattern. I'm gonna try on some different tops and just show how you could be versatile with this makeup for the holidays. It's holiday, it's a little bit special. Is a, a great shirt that I would wear for um, a family gathering, taking care of babies that might be giving their formula back. <laughs> Green is another color that everyone likes to wear, obviously, for Christmas. The oven's been going all day for cooking your meats, and it can definitely get pretty warm, so layering is often a good thing. If you have, you know, a little cardigan you can throw on over this, I'll give you one more option. Red is, of course, the color of Christmas. It's a special feeling color. It can be a little confusing as to what you would wear with red. You could throw your hair up in a ponytail. Of course, a red lipstick actually would go really well with this look too. And of course, for you that really want to make a statement, candy apple carousel glass. Perfect Christmas pout. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that it's been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to let us know. If there's anything that you would like to see done, I'd be happy to do a video, and I would love to see any pictures that any of you do. It's always great to see your beautiful faces and the creative things that you come up with. Stay in touch, beauties. And by the way, for those of you who wonder what that, that noise is in the background all the time,
This is Vader, otherwise known as Bad Dog. Mm -hmm. I am bad. Licking his guinea pig bottle. Always making noise, chewing things, and being bad. Or it could have been, come here. Come here, Chewy. Come here. Come here, Chewy. Oh my gosh, you two are so ridiculous. Ugh. <laughs> what a circus. Or it could have been this one. This is Chewbacca. Chewbacca is the good dog, the neurotic dog, the dog who does not like to be on camera. You are making him nervous. These are the noisemakers. Guilty. <laughs>